Don't you want to get a massage or do something fun? It's a bit... 40's huge. I'm turning 38. Okay, 38. Hey, we'll move on. Isn't it weird that our birthday is the same week and then we're going to have a party and it's just for me? No, I don't think it's weird at all. Because you're turning 40. This is 40 is a comedy about a couple who hit a midlife crisis. It's a sort of sequel to Judge a Judd Apatow's Knocked Up. And stars their director's real life wife, Leslie Mann. A couple's two daughters. And then Paul Rudd. And then we have Mr. Movie Phone, Russ Leatherman, here now. Uh, first, Russ, some critics say that This is 40 isn't funny enough. It looks hilarious. Well, you've been there. You know what it's like. And, <laughs> and this is Judd Apatow really sort of hitting close to home with This Is 40. They're saying it's the sort of sequel to Knocked Up. It is because it's following this couple. But you know what? They're hitting 40 years old. They've got a fun. couple kids. Their huge. sex life is horrible. His career is a bust. Uh, you know, things aren't looking that good for this couple. And, and I think the thing about this movie is it's funny. Uh, in sort of a tragic kind of way. Uh -huh. it, it's not like Knocked Up, where Knocked Up was funny funny. This is sort of tragic funny. And I can just see the look on couples' faces who are 40 or 45 and go to this movie, they're trying to laugh, and they're sort of looking at each other and squirming a little bit. Because, frankly, we've all been down a lot, of, uh, a lot of these roads. So I like it. I thought it was funny. But, man, some of it hits close to home, and it's just going to make you squirm a little bit. Okay. Well, tragic funny, you know, makes us all feel better. So why the heck not? <laughs> Let's talk about Jack Reacher. Right. Tom Cruise, all right, you know, he just divorced recently, right? <laughs> Trying to make a comeback here with this new movie. Was it good or not? That is, that is so funny. I love the expression on your face there. Well, here's the thing. It's uh, him basically doing the same shtick he does in Mission Impossible. Jack Reacher is a character that a lot of people know by the novels, and they were very upset that Tom Cruise was cast because the Jack Reacher character is supposed to be six foot five and a hulking man, and Tom Cruise stepping up on a box to be the same height as the rest of the actors. I'll say this. It's difficult to watch him do the same shtick over and over again. The movie is okay. But I would say sort of making these movies fresh has become Mission Impossible oh. for Tom Cruise. Oh, oh so oh. not a big fan. Not a big fan. I'm, I'm out for Jack Reacher. All right, what about the guilt? Because I love Seth Rogen like crazy. And then Barbara Streisand, which is kind of an unusual pairing. Did it work for you? It's an unusual pairing, and it's one of those pairings where I saw in the commercials and the trailers, and I thought, wow, this just looks horrible. Let me tell you this, it's a lot funnier than you think it's going to be. Uh, I love Seth Rogen, too. Barbara Streisand is very funny. They play a Jewish mother and her son who take this road trip together, sort of learn about each other a little bit. And, and, and I really, I went into this movie expecting a disaster. I thought it was really amazingly funny. They're both very natural. There's a lot of comedy in there. And, uh, and so, believe it or not, I'm in for uh, for this movie. I, I surprised myself, really. You're a little bit of a pessimist, aren't you? <laughs> Where's no, your holiday you, cheer? You know what? <laughs> there are so many movies this time of year, right, uh -huh. that you, I try to go into them fresh, but sometimes it doesn't work out so much. But uh, but this one I liked, and, and we got a ton more movies to talk about uh, as we get into the Christmas week. And there's always the Hobbit still. Kind of trickling back if you want to watch it. <laughs> Mr. Movie Phone, thank you, and happy holidays.